Email list building strategies for beginners. How to go from zero to explode your email list. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths, and I firmly believe that email is one of the best ways to sell. And actually, you are 10 times more likely to sell from an email list than from social media. So it's really important to build an email list because think about it, Facebook, Instagram, they all go down for the day. And what happens if your business goes splat for a whole day? How does that impact your sales? How does that impact what you do? If you have an email list that's working its magic in the background, you don't need to worry in the same way. And it is actually much, much easier. You are 10 times more likely to sell when you're selling through email into you know, the, the safety of someone's inbox than when you're trying to just splash out a message on social media. So it's really important to grow that email list. But where do you start with it all? Well, the first thing you really want to think about is actually why are they gonna sign up to your email list? What is the reason that they are going to give you their precious email address? You know, 10, 15 years ago, we were like, oh yay, of course I'll give my email. Whereas now we're bombarded with messages. We get all of the shizzle from all of the companies. So it's really important to find different ways that you can attract them. So really start looking at other people in your area, other people in your industry, your niche, whatever you want to call it. And what are they offering? What can you do that is a point of difference, that is going to really help you stand out and build something that is going to explode within your niche? And it might be a really good place to start to look at this is go on to Pinterest. And it might be, oh, I've never looked at Pinterest, but go on there because you can really see some great pins and some great lead magnets that can give you some ideas. And what you're wanting to do is create a lead magnet. So something that's a freebie that is so irresistible. People are want, going to want to give you their email address, their name and email address to get this freebie. So that can really start helping you with ideas. Once you've got that idea, now you need to create it. And it's like, oh, where do I start with creating my freebie? And, and that can be tricky. And I have definitely procrastinated over this. There have been times where I've like, oh, I know I need to do this thing, but oh, it's gonna take me forever. And where do I start? And all of that stuff. And so if that's you, I have something that, you know, check out my um, free explode your email below because, I've got a really easy strategy for you to start creating whatever it is. Now, you could think of different ways of doing this. It could be that it's some kind of checklist. It could be it's a workbook. It could be that you are doing a quiz or some kind of video training. So there's multiple ways that you can create something that people are gonna want. Maybe it's a meditation, if that's your thing. Maybe it's something where it's like, oh, it's a free guide or there's a free access to something where it's like, oh wow, I really want that. That's gonna be really helpful to me. So work out in your industry what people need. Listen to them, take note of comments, whether that's comments on LinkedIn posts or um, reading the comments on Amazon with books or maybe it's in Facebook groups, wherever your audience hangs out, take note of those comments and see what they need so that you can best help and serve them. Once you've created that lead magnet, then you wanna think, okay, now it's my opt-in page. And an opt-in page is essentially a landing page where people go, they put their name, the email address, and they press submit and cha-ching, they get your freebie and at the same time, you get that email address. Now, I see so many opt-in pages that are overly complex. And having run Facebook ads for many, many years, I can promise you that the highest converting opt-in pages are actually really, really simple. The less words, the better. Now, this is really important. So if you have a whole page and then you have, oh, hi, I'm this, and this is me, and da 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 
we get overwhelmed. We can't cope with all of that information. And so somebody will bounce away to another page and they won't give you their precious details, that, that name and email address. But imagine if that page was super simple, there was hardly anything on there. And it's like, oh, click here to get this thing. The brain goes, oh, okay, that's easy. I'll add in my details. So keep it simple. It's the opposite of what everybody wants to tell you. But actually by making it simple, people are gonna give you their email. And my best convers conversion pages, like 60, 70% conversion rate, has been when it's been super simple. The opposite of what everyone tells you, okay? So make it simple. Um, and if you want some examples, I will share um, some freebies below just so you can see how easy it is, like my, um, my launch plan that is super easy and check out that one below um, because it is really important to get people to sign up. Now, the next thing you want to make sure that you do is choose some kind of email software so that once people are on that landing page, they are then going to, um, they, you know, it's all hooked up and you're going to send them an email. So landing page software can be within email software. So something like ConvertKit is a really great, easy to use one when you're first starting out. Um, you can also look at Active Campaign, which I use now. It's a little more complicated. Um, it's great for kind of segmentation and dividing your audience, but that can be stage two. Um, in the beginning, something like ConvertKit, MailChimp is probably the one that is, you know, the most used within the industry, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best because when you start out, it might be free in the beginning, but then it rapidly rises those costs. So look at what is best for you and really look around at different platforms. Um, Flowdesk or ConvertKit, I think are really great ones to consider when it comes to building your email list. And then you've got your landing page, you've got your email list all set up. Um, now it is about consistently emailing, okay? And this is key because it's no point just having an email, it's like, oh, here's my lead magnet, and then you send an email six months later. Now, I see this with people and it's like, oh, I've not emailed you in a year. Hi, how are you? And I think, how on earth is someone going to consider buying from that person? Because it's like, you need to form a relationship with them. And so it's about being consistent with your content. And that's really, really important. One of the ways that I do this to keep me on track is I will actually do what I'm doing right now, talking to you on YouTube. And so by creating videos for YouTube, it gives me, that's my piece of content, and I create an email around that piece of content, and then I will email my list with, oh, and here's a link to watch my video. So it's, there's a kind of synergy, there's here's my email, here's my YouTube video, and um, you know, I'd, I say, oh, I'd love you to subscribe. So all of that, so people start watching, they see my content, and then it builds from there. And then on my YouTube video, I'll be saying, get my free email checklist below, or um, you know, get my launch strategies that I just talked about before. And so suddenly, I am growing my email list at the same time as building my YouTube channel, and I'm also nurturing my audience. So it's a, it's a full circle kind of symbiotic to, you know, a way of communicating with people. And it makes it really easy for me because if I batch that content, it means I'm consistent with it. And it means that I have planned out, oh, here's six weeks worth of content or whatever it may be. Here's two months worth of content. Over the summer, I will plan out three months of content so it means that I'm done and I don't need to do that work over the summer holidays so I can be with my son. So it helps me stay consistent. So you've got to find a way that works for you. Maybe it's 
doing Instagram reels or blog posts, whatever works for you. But by staying consistent with that content, it really helps you because it means that you are nurturing that relationship. When it comes to building your email list, it's really important to talk about it in places. So I talk about it in my YouTube videos, but also I will have a link on my LinkedIn, which I use every day. And I might say, oh, here's a freebie that I talk about. Or perhaps I have it in my Instagram bio or I put it in a Facebook group. So think about the places that you can best show up and promote that lead magnet. Another way that I do this is by that piece of content I said I created, so the YouTube video, so the email goes to the YouTube video. So that same email then becomes a blog post for my YouTube videos. So I put that in the description. It goes on my website as a blog post. And then that can be pinned on Pinterest. And Pinterest is an amazing search tool. It's the number three search tool in the world. And it means that that content is showing up in more places with a pin on Pinterest. So I'm repurposing that same video is going from just being a video. It's also being used in my emails. It's being used as a blog post. It's being used on Pinterest. And it means that that one piece of content is going in multiple directions. Plus, I'm also making sure that that video can be repurposed as reels on Instagram and, um, you know, using that, you could use it on TikTok. I'm not really on TikTok, but you see how you can, from one piece of content, it can go in multiple directions that can hold you accountable so you stay promoting your business. Because if you are not visible, then it's really hard to keep growing and building. I hope you found that video useful. There are so many strategies in there, I know, to really explode your email. But you, I promise you can do this. I have grown my email massively and it is possible for you too. But the first step is to really say, right, I'm gonna start with that one piece of content, that lead magnet, and build out from there. If you found this video useful, I would love you to subscribe and don't forget to check out that email checklist below and I'd love to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye bye.